If you're a baby right now and I give you 100% of your life, and if I say 3% of your life right now you're gonna dedicate to a bad boyfriend or to a bad girlfriend or to a bad job, would you give it to them? And you're like, fuck no, I have only 100, right? I don't wanna give 3%, that's a lot. But we don't think of it like that. We give the best eight hours of our day, like the whole daylight, nine to five. It's daylight to sunset to someone else. And you're sitting in an office looking at a screen. And how, does it really make sense? It just didn't make sense to me. I worked as a software engineer for PayPal, but I hated my job and I hated my life. Work put me in an office in a cage. I was making $120,000 every year, and I was 24 years old. This was my life. It's amazing, it's New York. While I was doing that, I had this revelation. You're supposed to live until 76 years on average in the US. So with a simple math, 24 out of 76, that's 32%. I am one third dead with my life. I'm one third done. There has to be something better than sitting around in New York, drinking every weekend, and working for six hours on something you don't care about. And so I'm more concerned about how to make life go from good to great, from good to amazing, from good to freaking fantastic. Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of safety equipment I'm taking with me to cross the Atlantic Ocean. And I think it's a really important topic because obviously, especially being out there by myself, it's important to feel uh, safe for the eye, but also for my family and friends to know that, that I'm all right out there. This one is gonna give me weather forecasts, um, weather updates underway, and I will make sure to stay as far south as needed to stay clear of any storms or any development of hurricanes. I must say with all of this, I do feel pretty good about going out there even by myself. And um, yeah, I hope you do too. If you have any questions, let me know and cheers. Die meisten Leute warten, bis sie pensioniert sind. Du machst deine Schule, du arbeitest, du bringst deine Familie groß und irgendwann, wenn du pensioniert bist, dann hast du Anspruch darauf, dir vielleicht einen Traum zu erfüllen oder irgendwie ähm, die Zeit für dich zu nehmen. Und die Zeit für dich, die ist eigentlich davor, ist, eigentlich hast du da kein Recht drauf. Die 
Aufmerksamkeit, die ich gerade bekomme, ist darauf bezogen, dass ich als Frau mit meinem Hund auf einem viel zu großen Schiff um die Welt segeln will. Das ist die Geschichte, wo, wo alle sagen, also, hey, guck mal, was ist denn da los? Just a few hours later, come through, so let's see if we get it up. Fantastic. Es ist natürlich immer präsenteres Thema. Wie kann ich reisen und mich dabei finanzieren? Wie kann ich von unterwegs aus arbeiten? Wie kann ich unabhängig leben? Ich habe jetzt irgendwie über 13.000 Follower, aber Geld verdienen lässt sich damit nicht wirklich. Das einzige Wahre ist dann einfach YouTube. I studied international peace and conflict resolution. I spent time in conflict regions like Palestine, like the north of Ireland. So it wasn't just a job, it was also a passion and it was my avenue for affecting positive change in the world. And I had dedicated incredible amounts of time and, you know, blood, sweat, tears, everything, this was it. So one day, walked into work and I got fired from my job with no notice. And that was at age 30. And literally on that day, as I walked out into the parking lot, I decided that I was not going to work for anybody else ever again. You know, if I didn't get fired, I don't know what would happen because I feel like a lot of people have a thought or a dream or an aspiration that, wow, it would really be cool to do this. But then reality sets in and well, do I really want to leave my job? Do I want to quit my job? That sounds pretty scary. My job's okay. It's not horrible. It's kind of mediocre. That's the most dangerous thing is when your job is mediocre. All right. I've been a digital nomad now for six years, and I currently travel the world with carry-on luggage only. I do not check baggage, and I can go to beaches, I can go to ski resorts, and I can go for dressed up nights on the town in a suit and tie. All of it in my carry-on luggage. So one thing that I never travel without is my portable espresso maker. And the amazing thing about this, unlike a stovetop espresso machine, is that this actually makes real espresso. It has a bicycle pump technology, so you don't need electricity. As long as you have boiling water, you put the espresso in and you can make real espresso with real crema. And I take this with me everywhere I go. Welcome to Maverick Investor Group. You are in the right place if you want to buy rental properties in the best U.S. real estate markets, regardless of where you live. We look forward to having you as part of the Maverick community, getting to know you personally, and helping you meet your real estate investing goals. I run a real estate investment company called Maverick Investor Group, and we help people buy cash flowing rental properties in U.S. real estate markets from anywhere in the world. And I have exercised that location independence over the last six years to live in over 50 different countries around the world. I am working very hard to prevent my life from being boring. If there's anything 
that I feel my life is not as boring. And that's on purpose, right? That's by design. Uh, the best part of the morning is opening emails because you can see how many cells you got, you know, all the proposals and all that stuff. So uh, they want my red see-through lace panty with a picture autographed and make the panty dirty with pussy juice. <laughs> So on our site, they can choose if they want a custom video or photo set, if they want both of us to be in the video or just me or just Paolo, if it is indoor or outdoors, what type of clothes they want us to wear. They send you a big script and we have to learn everything they want uh, us to say and it's amazing. Yeah, it was like a 30 minute video of me talking up that I didn't want him to impregnate me. I love other people's minds. It's like you can discover so many things. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you will be seeing us doing very crazy stuff these days. Like um, we're going to be doing some photo shoots and videos and yeah we're going to be followed. Uh, so you will be enjoying everything with us, guys. Hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you. We get a lot of followers that say that. I love how much you love each other. It's like, I want that in my life and I love that you share it with us because I feel like I'm part of your relationship. They the even send us here. gifts. Like they remember our birthdays, when we met. You feel like the responsibility to show every part of your life with them because they are so grateful for everything you do that you don't want to disappoint them. Wow, this is insane. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit to see if anybody would ever, ever, ever join this live broadcast. Oh shit, there's people! Hey! Okay. Let me show you let me show you my room first. This is the bed. This is Sully. I bought this for myself and I'm not ashamed of it. Look, this is not good. Not good. But the beauty of this room is that you just open up this little thing and then you have New York fucking city right there. How cool is that? A uh, thousand and Alexa. 45 days ago, I decided to quit my job. And I bought a camera and I bought a one-way ticket to Kenya. And I promised myself that every single day of my life, or at least for the foreseeable future, I want to make a video. That's it. I want to learn how to make videos and I want to travel the world. Anywhere I want to be, I want to go. Anything I want to do in life, I want to do. Uh, I wanted the ultimate freedom. Is this shit working? I don't know. I have no clue why I'm doing this, but I think it'll be fun. Here's the idea. Once a day, I'm going to make one video that's one minute long. 
That's it. In New York City, off to Egypt, today, Kenya, Ethiopia, India, then Nepal, Japan. I wanted to see if I can build a community on Facebook, which is something a lot of people said was stupid and wrong and whatever. We're never gonna work and never trust Facebook. Just arrived in Kenya. And they might have been right the first 200 days. In the first 100 days, two people would have noticed, my mom and my dad, <laughs> okay? People told me this was a bad idea. People told me YouTube is better. People told me I'm not a video maker. And as much as I tried to prove people wrong, they were right. I thought about quitting every day, really. The amount of times I was on the fucking ground, screaming of anger and pain and frustration. I hate jet lag. Imagine working for 300, 400, 500 days every single day, making a video from around the world, never missed a day. No matter if there was no Wi-Fi, no matter if there was no one around you, no matter if you have no idea what to do. And it didn't work. Like, it just didn't work. It's raining a lot, it's foggy, I can't see shit, and it's day 100. When me and him met, I was visiting my dad here in Israel, and he had just started making videos and messaged him on Facebook and was like, oh, I saw your video uh, about Jerusalem. I love Jerusalem. And so if you ever want to go to Jerusalem, let's hang out one day and it'll be fun. Hi, my name is Aline and welcome to Dear Aline. Today's video is about my boyfriend. Nas makes videos and he's done it every <laughs> single day. And as his life and travel partner, it was extremely hard on me. You wake up, you script, for hours, you search for video ideas. You know, these things take hours. Don't be to me. I told you three minutes and I'm waiting down. No, to you can't randomly say three minutes. Can I just say one thing? I used to tell people like, I don't have time to pee. I don't have time to go pee. I can't go pee because that means that's like a 10 minute delay. If I have to go find a bathroom and come back, like we don't eat lunch. Like, oh, how's the food there? I don't know. Like I'm just eating whatever I find when I have time. <laughs> The videos were the priority. He's very intense about that. It's a face! The middle of the island! There's nothing here! This is amazing. I started to learn how to make better videos. Entire islands will disappear into the ocean like this one. By the time you finish watching this video, seven people will have died. That was the case here in Rwanda. I started to make money from this, and the videos started getting more views, and it became a bigger, bigger thing. Oh my God, I'm about to break 100,000 likes. I'm about to, oh shit, 100,000 likes, yes! Nas has 13 million followers. He made 1,000 pretty good videos in 1,000 days without ever missing a day. Correct. That is crazy. When you land into a country, you meet the presidents of countries, News picks it up. See you tomorrow. Back to you, Nas. And millions started following this journey. One minute, that's one minute. That's one minute. Millions were like, wow, I too want to be able to travel wherever. I too want to leave my job. And that was not my intention. I really don't care if you quit your job or not. And I don't care if you love it or hate it. I just wanted people to be aggressive with life live your best life because there's a mission, right? And you have to achieve it. Tage, 4 Stunden, 46 Minuten und 12 Sekunden bin ich. Jetzt schon mit Katharina. Ja, nach neun Monaten mit Katharina verlassen. Das ist ein ganz spezieller Tag. Man kann immer mehr Geld verdient haben, man kann immer ein größeres Boot gekauft haben, man kann immer die bessere Ausrüstung an Bord gehabt haben, man kann immer besser vorbereitet gewesen sein. Aber man kann auch einfach den Moment verpassen, loszufahren. Jachtport Katarina, Jachtport Katarina. 
ya por Cartagena. This is Changaroa, Changaroa, over. Sí, hola, es Tangaroa. Solamente quería decir que muchas gracias por todo. Los quiero un montón y los voy a extrañar muchísimo. <ríe> que les vaya muy bien. Oba. Un abrazo. Hasta luego. Chao, chao. queda en una montaña queda sobre una montaña y mmm, ya pagó de todos modos es un video de 10 15 minutos que tiene que ser outdoors con guión no no sin guión y quiere que como que sea sensual y lo quería con ángulos o en POV? bueno nos lo dejó un poco a nosotros todo eso es como que solamente me dio esa idea de que de nosotros en la naturaleza solos. I can imagine we walk like 200 meters and there's a house and people in their gardens. <laughs> It happens. It always happens. Siamo di argentini? Qui più lontano. Sì, eh, troppo lontano. lontano. Più lontano? Sì. Eh, però se abbiamo fatto un giro per il mondo e eh, ah, adesso ah, siamo ah. qua. Hai nato qua? Io ci sono nato qua. Sì, sì, eh. sì. Sono 95 anni, 93 anni. Io a casa ho non so se ti accedi a come si parla là. E non capite, e allora mi conviene sta sempre qua. Sì, sì. <ride> <laughs> These people are living apart from everything. They probably feel so comfortable, you know, with their lives. They have everything set up already and they are, you know, like with their families and they probably, I guess they must be very happy, you know, because This is what they know, and they didn't dare to see beyond that, but they didn't want to either. I grew up in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I think I come from a normal family, you know. In Argentina, there are mostly Italians and Spanish people. And Italian men with their daughters, it's like they tend to be very shut, you know, like sex is bad and the boyfriend has to be perfect. I was obsessed with being a good adult. Like I had my apartment, friends and clothes and I don't know, all the material stuff you gather, but I wasn't really happy. I worked in IBM for like three, four years, and well, that's when I met Paolo. It was like a movie, you know, when you just can't get off each other. 
we started going to swinger clubs and we really enjoyed people watching us fucking. So we started making videos because we got excited with the enjoying our last day here in this beautiful place. But at the same time we felt like so guilty sometimes because you're doing something that is against what everyone believes in. So we made a plan and then we left. I think if we hadn't met each other, we probably wouldn't have done any of this. Because you need courage. Don't fall Paul, please. Never. To my hair. It's beautiful. Oh, this one looks kind of new. Uh, the Radisson. Huh? Radisson Hotel. What do you have going on today? Uh, preparing promotional marketing materials for webinar next week. Okay. Do you have calls today? The lady was like, we'll have to just call you sometime on Friday. I'm like, okay, I'm in Senegal. If you call me at midnight, I'm not answering that call. Agnes and I see each other two, three times a year. The last time we hung out was in Brazil. Now we're doing West Africa. Mic check one, two. Welcome to the Maverick Show. Mic check three, four. Welcome to the Maverick Show. What's amazing about a lot of this digital nomad movement is to see the types of people that have taken it upon themselves to create their own path, their own destiny. And I want to meet every one of them, and I want to hear all their stories. That's how the Maverick Show podcast was born. Hey everybody, it's Matt Bowles. Welcome to the Maverick Show. My guest today is Agnes Nyamwange, originally from Nakura, Kenya. She currently teaches life support to healthcare providers, but she can run her business traveling the world as a full-time itinerant nomad. You were an expert with an enormous amount of experience on life support training, CPR training, all that kind of stuff. You were in the healthcare space for like 10 years, right? Before, mm. you, before you started nomading full time. Can you share what that experience was like? The first assisted living I worked in that I became a manager for is in the suburbs of Minnesota, which is majority white. The majority of the people I was working with did not want me there. So I had that stress where I had to work three, four times as hard to make sure I don't fail because I'm like, I need to prove a point. I'm worthy of this. I can do this. So I was ha running on like four hours of sleep and working nonstop. I ended up resigning from that job because I'm like, I need to start taking care of me. Hello. Hi, Blake. It's Agnes. Hi. Hi. Um, can you hear me okay? Seems to be fine. Okay. So we are reading the rhythm, and let's say that our patient is uh, in Vifib. How many times do you shock before you start the medication? I would do CPR for two minutes, and then I begin medication. I would begin epinephrine. And A huge part of my happiness is me having enough rest. Don't get me wrong, I love working hard, but 
I have like a certain amount of hours I want to work. I don't want to go beyond it. There's no money that's worth it. You could give me a million bucks to do it. I won't do it because it's not worth it. It's easy to fall through the cracks in this lifestyle and find yourself partying every night in Thailand on $1 beers, making a thousand bucks a month with no benefits, no career and no future. But you're a digital nomad. And, and you really have to distinguish between those on a mission or those that are wasting their life away. Should we write a script for John? Who's John? The male actor, since it's... We have a script. We just need the shots so we can use as B-roll. That's all we need. Well, that's what we said last night, and you made a huge deal it about having script. It is a big deal, scripts. because you need to say the line We know well. we just need B-roll with mixed styles. The wall is two minutes walk from here. OK. Let's go. Cool. When the talent comes, we pretend we are organized. OK? Where's the hammer? The hammer's in the, ki the, the kitchen. Oh, that is definitely uneven. Definitely. <laughs> Today, we want to shoot as many videos as possible. And that's one of the opportunities that we, we were able to afford after traveling around the world for a thousand days, is you start building up a name. And uh, the way it relates to you is, you know, if you have a million followers or whatever, one of them has a company. One of them wants you to do videos for them. So we're trying to make videos. Uh, we're trying to make anything in the world that has to do with Facebook. So 10 minute long documentaries, 10 second long ads. Whatever it is, we want to be the best at Facebook videos. Let's go. He's here, bro. By the way, this is our first time working with like actors. Our first time in a thousand days. I'm telling you, could you not? In a thousand days? In a thousand days, bro. I'm not joking. So, so, so we're gonna do for mixed styles, okay? And these these frames stick and they don't leave marks on the wall. They don't need nails. The problem with nails is that they ruin your home. Ruin the home. This could be the first three seconds if we use it. This this isn't gonna fit in square though. Something will be cut. Yeah, the nail will be cut. It's too small. Franco, can you put the camera closer to the... Yeah. Put the camera closer. Okay, let me just shoot the wall. Okay, can you shoot the same thing here and here? So that we, yes. when we say fill it, we do a transition. We're filming a commercial. Oh my god, it's so cool to uh, find me. Me too, I love your video. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't I mean, even live it would here. Be better if you were I live in Amsterdam. Oh, oh wow. are you visiting? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. okay. You know, this has I don't want Nas Daily to be a digital okay. nomad or a traveler. Yeah. I don't but want Nas Daily to be a hotel guide. Like I'm not traveling for the fun of it. This is not, you know, a fucking millennial who has too much money and wants to see the wall. No. Exactly. When you rise above yeah. these leagues, no, there's, there's a lot more bigger, better opportunities. My enjoyment doesn't come from, you know, sitting at a beach for a full day. Hey, you tight? How are you, man? The first 20 years of my life, I grew up in Israel as an Arab Israeli or Palestinian Israeli. Uh, I'm not Jewish, but I live in Israel, which makes it super, super complicated. I, I don't like how people die for their country. I don't like how people love their country so much. I don't like the idea that because my parents had sex in this piece of land, then I belong to this piece of land. I wish the whole idea of country stops existing because I feel like I feel like I own I own a piece of land in Singapore. I should I should be able to call a piece of land in Senegal mine.
Ich denke, jeder spricht was anderes beim Segeln an. Und für mich war es das Unabhängige. Du kannst den Anker werfen und irgendwo bleiben. Du kannst wieder weiter segeln. Du reist mit deinem Haus, du reist mit all deinem Hab und Gut. Und du hast trotzdem die Möglichkeit, dich sehr loszulösen von allem. Du bist alleine, du bist mit dir alleine. Das ist fast wie, als würdest du durchs Universum gleiten. Wenn man draußen beim Segeln ist und du hast gerade keine Kamera bei der Hand und dann tauchen die Delfine am Buch auf und dann musst du jetzt überlegen, so okay, Delfinfotos kommen immer gut an und Leute lieben Delfine. Es ist, ähm, Leute lieben auch Sonnenuntergänge. Musst du jetzt aufstehen, zurückrennen ins Boot, die Kamera rausholen ähm, und, und das dann dokumentieren oder kannst du eigentlich sitzen bleiben und diesen Moment für dich genießen? Und das ist, die Frage stellt man sich immer und ähm, meistens ist es leider nein, weil du immer in den Moment kommst, wo du zu wenig Content hast. Du hast plötzlich eine Community da, die wartet, die gerne der Reise folgt, die einfach daran teilhaben will. Wenn du eine Woche nichts postest, dann ist die enttäuscht. Is there like a more private pool that we could do a drone shot with? No, depending on the Okay, because a lot of people will see it, so it's it's like too bad. Because it, the last videos I can send them to you that I made in Ubud got like 10 million views and people go to all the places that I feature. So I just thought it would be cool to put you guys because it's like I've been there before and I like it a lot. But I understand if you need a um, warning ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. No worries. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much. So on Facebook, it's really hard to keep people's attention. So you want to make sure you're not annoying your audience with irrelevant junk. It is valuable real estate. You do not just share random news articles because those hurt your page. Something that you should keep in mind is every time you share something on Instagram or on Facebook, it's also an opportunity for you to be unfollowed. Because every time somebody sees something on their wall from you, they remember you exist and they think to themselves, do I still want to see stuff mm -hmm. from this person or not? The ad usually pops up at around the one minute mark. So you're only getting ad money usually from the people who are watching, not only getting to the ad, but finishing the ad and continuing the video. Very hard to do. So when something goes wrong, you need to go to your insights and look at the insights and be like, Why did people stop watching this video? At what point of the video did they drop off? The world today is so fast and different and overexposed constantly. It's not the same like village life that most of humanity was accustomed to. I mean, social media is such a buzzword, but we have the ability to see and compare ourselves to billions of people instead of, in the past, the 200 people in our village, you know? My mom is Mormon, so very religious. I dedicated 25 years of my life to being a perfect Mormon human. For us, like, enlightenment is getting married and having a family. Like, that is 
like the only purpose of your existence as a human. And so I was like, I have to do this, you know? Hi, my name is Aline and I am divorced. I grew up, got married and hoped for the happy ending. But sadly, after three years of trying our hardest, it didn't work out and we ended up divorcing. This all happened in the US, a liberal country. But even here, I've had the uncomfortable experience of people telling me that divorce is bad and the rest of the world is even worse to divorced women. In my country, the Philippines, divorce is illegal. This is not a country problem, it's a world problem. Because I didn't bring any flip flops. Are you okay? I'm good. Very slippery. I think in our countries in the West, we feel like everything's figured out and we forget about the probably literally billions of people who live in countries where nothing is figured out and so many people are treated horribly and, and are depressed. One, two, three. Now spin in a circle. We can reach people who want to learn, who want to change, who want to be accepted in their societies, and we can help them. That's why I make videos. But I hope these videos help the divorced woman not commit suicide because she realizes, oh, I'm not a piece of trash, like my entire society tells me. You need to do what you want to do. But if you're kind of like, oh, I don't really want to, but I feel like I should, then you're still just like, you're, you're someone else's bitch, you know? So how do you manage your personal life and your work life at the same time? For me, it was an option of two options. One, you live life happy and content and surrounded by family and friends, or but, but you have no other influence, or you have like a great influence, but your personal life might be suffering. And I chose the suffering part. Um, and I do have to give it to Aline. She did work a lot more on the relationship than I did, um, but I care about humans. On like I think that's another reason him and I get along is because we both are really efficient. We hate wasting time. So most people want to go get a coffee and sit for 45 minutes and talk. And that is like torture to me. I really don't want to go get a coffee with you and sit and talk. I really don't want to grab dinner and just sit and talk. I want to do something productive. Like if someone's like, hey, let's grab a coffee and then we'll plan a video together. Great, let's do it. If we're creating something of value, let's do it. But I really, don't people waste so much time going to dinner, going to lunch, going to, I mean, every single day, if you're eating every meal and going out to do it, it's like hours every day burned. Thank you, exclamation mark. Yes, I'm at the retreat right now. So I have zero time. For me, it's hard to understand how people can like the world for some reason. And I'm hoping I can switch over to that category someday. Yeah, I get too many messages from like people in difficult situations to like have a rosy view of the world. I took a poll on Instagram. Were you happy you were born? Simple question. 17% said no. And the people who follow me are somewhat privileged. And like, that's high. 
And that's how I felt for most of my life. Like if I, if I could click yes or no, I would click no. Don't put me in the being born category. These people every day are me. They're me when I was lost. And so now I go on a trip and it looks nice, but I have a purpose behind it. That's the difference. So me sitting at home going, the world sucks and crying helps no one. So me out here helps lots of people. I get lots of messages and it doesn't mean I'm great. Everyone could be doing the same thing. It just means it's, it's almost selfish. It's like now I can feel less disillusioned. Gosh, what a morning, what a night. Uh, it started around, I think, 4 a.m. this morning, that uh, maybe 3, um, that the autopilot wouldn't steer a course anymore and the sails started totally collapsing. Uh, a part went flying off and the whole, whole bit, damn thing, half of it got into the water, which um, becomes super heavy. So luckily I was clipped in, I had, my, I had my life vest on. I have two options now, try to get a little bit of rest or continue hand steering. 36 more hours, it's doable. I have food, I have everything I need, and uh, the only thing I don't have is a working autopilot, so I think we're pretty, pretty good to go. So there's a big cargo ship um, approaching. The collision course says that it's dead on. <sighs> I'm on the sail, I'll give him a call. Cargo ship APL Minnesota, this is sailing vessel Kangaroa. I can see that we have a very close point of approach and I would like to know if you're uh, planning to pass to my stern or to my bow. Over. <laughs> I'll be that. Thank you. Ready? Okay, I can turn a little bit to starboard. I can now n not adjust any further. So for me, this is the maximum I can adjust. So yeah. Oh, he's big, man. That still looks a bit scary, I must admit. It's really not good for my course, but I rather keep more distance even between him and me. Quite a busy traffic situation um, here right now. Okay, there is this massive shipping lane here and I mean it was just best timing that when I was approaching it there's like three from like all directions showing up. Yeah, it's good to stay awake. Um, oh, no inbound, no outbound mail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is like the sad news that you don't want to get is when it tells you it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have anything from you to be sent out. It doesn't have anything for you to be delivered. Just basically, there's nothing for you. Well, dear family, this is a bit disappointing. I've had so many thoughts these past days, you know, about, about me, about my life, about, you know, all the different decisions I've made this past year, about the journey. It's been the most challenging and the most rewarding year at the same time. It's very hard to put in words the stuff that I've experienced and uh, gone through these past days. And um, I wish it was easier to share what's going on in my mind right now. It's just, um, yeah, it's a bit complicated.
mein Leben war so sehr perfekt. Ich war sehr glücklich in meinem Job. Ich habe ein großes Team von 50 Mitarbeitern gemanagt, zehn Filialen geführt für eine große internationale ähm, australische Kosmetikmarke. Ein wunderschönes Zuhause im Stadtzentrum von Zürich. Es war alles sehr rund und sehr stimmig, kann man sagen. Dieser Traum war, war lange da, er war sehr lange in der Planung, ähm, sechs Jahre lang mit meinem Mann an meiner Seite. Wir haben eigentlich geplant, zusammen ein Segelboot zu kaufen, zusammen um die Welt zu segeln, verbunden mit einem Businessplan und eben auch mit dem Gedanken, Familie zu haben auf dem Wasser. Dieser Schritt, diese Komfortzone zu verlassen, all das zu verlassen, was dir jegliche Sicherheit, was dir jegliche, ähm, ja, alles, was du, was du kennst, all deine Vertrautheit, all deine Familie und Freunde, all, deine Heimat zurückzulassen, das ist schwierig. So sehr er sich das gewünscht hat, diesen Schritt zu gehen, war es ihm doch nicht möglich, all das hinter sich zu lassen. Das war absolut brutal, weil wir haben uns weiterhin geliebt und keinen kein Grund gehabt, die Beziehung zu beenden, außer dem Grund, dass unsere Träume zwar verschiedene Richtungen gegangen sind. Dann gab es auch Leute, die von mir enttäuscht waren, die gesagt haben, du hast alles und du wirst es weg. Du hast die große Liebe, du hast den guten Job, du hast ein sicheres Zuhause, du hast alles das, was man sich wünscht und du wirfst es weg. Ich habe dann den Cut gemacht. Es ging dann alles auch sehr schnell von der Scheidung zum Auszug. Ich bin im Sommer noch mal segeln gegangen auf einem Boot als Crew und ähm, ich bin auf dem Wasser angekommen und habe mich sofort zu Hause geführt und habe gewusst, ich möchte das ausprobieren. Komme was wolle, die Tangaroa und ich fahren nach Panama. Da hat der Traum begonnen und dahin will ich zurück. Did you realize which was the first question that the kids asked us? If we were married. If we were married. Why are people still obsessed with getting married and making a family and having kids? A lot of people contact us asking us, like, if we are ever going to have kids, if I want to get pregnant, like, what are we going to do with our lives when we stop doing porn? Like, they're very concerned about our future. Like, we are not concerned. Why are you concerned about these strangers on the internet? <laughs> Ich 
estamos acá y en algo estábamos en... We always say we are not going to get married or have kids or anything like that because we want to be free. Like if at some point you fall in love with another person, like that can totally happen because you don't know who you're going to be in 10 years. Everyone is cheating on each other. Like, not always with sex, but with what they really want with their lives. Looks good. Let me see it. The Instagram worthy. Remember I asked you whether you have a few more moves? I have a few more poses. Yeah. <laughs> you got anything else? Most of my friends that have gotten married have subsequently gotten divorced. So you can be like, okay, getting married and having kids is the most important thing. And then all of a sudden, now you're divorced. Or now you're in your marriage, but you're miserable. One of the two. So for me, I'm just trying to make sure it's the right person before I do the whole family thing. Oh, crazy. Crazy. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if we can set up some plans for this evening. Okay. With our local squad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, this is her? Uh huh. Okay. You represent. Yeah. You represent. She said she's here with her sister. I told her here with another Kenyan. And so now it's a, you know, it's a social outing, right? Yeah. If someone's worth it, then do it. If not, then keep moving. And since we are always running away from things, <laughs> so it's easier. You have an exit route, and it's pretty quick. I don't, I don't perceive myself to be running away from anything. If you're location independent and you choose to travel, your dating options are literally the planet of Earth. Since you are location independent, if my partner, spouse, or whatever that I meet needs to do something or be somewhere, I can just go wherever she needs to be. So that, that means that I can literally date or be in a relationship with anyone in the world and I have the total flexibility to do that. So you just have so many more options. It is really, really incredible, you know? One of the types of freedoms that I have is the total ability to curate my social circle in a 100% customized way. There is not a single human being that I am forced or required to interact with, period. Hey guys. How did you How are you? I'm Matt. Nice to, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming out and hanging with us. Kashasa is not rum. It is a separate spirit, right? And it is from Brazil. So you have to have Brazilian cachaça in order to make a Cabrini by definition, otherwise you don't have the ingredients. I'm leaving the continent on Monday. I'm gonna take the Trans-Siberian Railway on actually something called the Nomad Train, going with 28 digital nomads on the Trans-Siberian Railway, which is the longest train ride in the world from Moscow to Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. In China, they have trains that go 217 miles an hour. These trains leave 15 minutes after one and go In 40 years of running a high-speed rail system, do you know how many fatalities they've had on the Chinese rail system? Zero. Not one in 40 years. The only people die on the American freaking trains and like go just roll off the tracks. It's crazy. Right? That's what I'm saying, right? I don't know why we have to be. I am not This is what I'm 
I'm saying? That's why you and I are so similar. It is so wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm doing amazing. Well, I'm actually right on the beach, just like you are, so it's almost as if I'm there. You know, it's interesting, Linda. I started off my career and it had nothing at all to do with The best advice that someone gave me and made me successful in management was fake it till you make it. That's good, but it can only last for so long. After that, it becomes a burden even to yourself emotionally that you, all that is left is a shell of a person instead of actually being a person. We are a generation of people who believe in superheroes. We still have that fantasy that we can have it all and it's all going to be perfect, but it doesn't exist. On Instagram, we have Vico, Naples. Ah, Glenn. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 Who is taking? Ah, okay. Hello. 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 And they were following on Instagram, so they came here. No, 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 no? they are from here, I hope. <laughs> really? I hope from because the bottom. Because they were here waiting. And then they asked for a picture. Who are we? I don't know. Yeah, it was like the first time someone asks for a picture. It was... It's happening. I, I'm scared. <laughs> we're going to be hiding these days <laughs> now. <laughs> like, I will put like, no. a big mustache. Yeah. These are great people, but at the same time, you're like, they are still a stranger on the internet. It's not, you know, like real friendship. You don't want to show where you live, your real name, all the real aspects of your life. We try to hide them. At some point, we felt really lonely. It was just Paul and I all the time, every single day. And at some point, I'm like, can we like go try to talk to someone else? Because, you know, you need an input from other person about life. At some point, we even went to visit our families. And I think that was the time when we felt the least at home ever. You realize that your friends don't miss you as much, your family don't really miss you as much, everyone is living their own life, so you are alone in the world. Okay. 
can't believe it. Five days since, and look at that. Can you see the mountains at the horizon? A la Canaria. Yeah, there, there's something, man. I mean, I'm like, I'm not sleeping until I figure out what the hell's going on. It, there's something weird. Like, why is the relevance score so low for these videos? I don't get it. Even the Valentine's one that was performing really well, the relevance score was still low. And the variations are way too high for 2,000 per purchase. That's way too high. There we go. Okay, so. This was like the best we've ever had. And then it was like 85 million views in one week. It was like, wow. And then everything came tumbling down. Sadness, happiness, sadness. These are like three weeks we're talking about of sadness. And then extreme happiness, one week. And then incredibly extreme sadness. All this also corresponds to money. So the higher up, the more money, the less. And so I used to make $4,000 a day on these days for like, for like five weeks, for like four, four weeks. The it was good insane. Old days. The good old days. And then it went down to $200 a day. And then after I finished my 1,000 day journey, and then Restitution. Wow, we are so low now, dude. We're super crazy. low. Weekly is not working. The internet content works that way. If you don't feed the people, they will find replacements. And you can be on top of the world if you disappear for I don't know, two weeks or so, you slowly can decrease because people found something else because they need to consume all the time. And that's why daily content is very helpful with that stuff. We really need to keep on uh, mind storming, Pringle, brainstorming. We need this video and idea. I unpack them Fish in a here. bowl, we did that video. Yeah. Dark side of humanity on YouTube, you did that video, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Senegal HIV. Senegal quinoa, Senegal slavery, Senegal's hospitality, SNE, corruption, Brandon video, women boot camp, why never work out? We've How are we not doing the Freedom Farm? That's obviously the best video. Because obviously it's not Nas's video, Alin. No, I mean, look. Does he feel it's passionate still about it? We're making it together. It's a team video. It's it still can be. Nas it's just I don't want to go out supporting singing to animals and giving them a fucking hotel why room with their name on it. Why don't we have a pro and con debate for the video? If yeah. I was the president, I would not allow $150,000 to be spent on 100 cows. They they <laughs> raise their own money. It's not government money. I mean, nice, but you know what the government spends money on? Bombs and shit. I think the Freedom Farm will still do well because the Freedom Farm has 800,000 followers on their Facebook page. 800. So I think it'll do well, but I don't know if I have the right framing for this that I, that I, care, that I really believe in. We have a problem. Fuck! The traveling makes it much easier. Right here, we, we've been too long here. Yeah. And oh my god, we have a big problem. You know what we need? We need a week. You're reliant on a platform. You're reliant on Facebook algorithms. And Facebook has been very good to me. I love Facebook. And it's the reason I'm success like the Nas Daily became successful. But at the end of the day, you know, they, for every up that they had, at some point there was a down. And sometimes the downs were tragic. And so I was like, fuck, you know, I lost 70% of my audience, right, in a, in a week. And then all of a sudden I get them back. And then the next week I lose 70% and then I get them back. And so you don't know, you can't build a stable business on top of it. Um, look, at, look at the giant pig contrasted by ducks. What a sight, what a sight. Look at them running. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that okay? Is that okay? You scared them and they only have three legs. I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I, I need to get the shot. We're saving lives here, Ali. Hello, donkeys. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Go. Go, Gary! 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 
Gary! Gary! You decided? He's peeing! Oh, he's peeing! He's gotta pee! That's why he's not running. Precious, precious. Wait, wait, you guys have to move back so he runs. You're go, moving go, go. too close to him. Where? You're moving too close to him. But how can he run? He's like... He can run. We can speed it up. They like to be cut in the Very nice. <laughs> Gandhi said, the greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way in which its animals are treated. As the world progresses, we learn more and more. And how are the kids treated? We learn how fa factory farming causes climate change. We learn blah, 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 and then you can include your stuff. We learn blah, 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 blah. Woo! This it's is good. exactly the least relatable fucking thing I've ever heard in my no, life. No, it's good. People like, people, like a, people like a strong statement. Guys, I think I've just arrived to a place where animals are treated better than humans. Let me show you. Is this video only directed at men? Guys is not men and women. Guys is for girls too, right? No. In English, no? Guy is a male. Really? Yes. Nah, this cannot be the best shot. There's no way this is the best shot. Instead of ending up as food... You shouldn't say ended up in this farm. Yeah. They live their best life in this farm. 200... I miss the daily. Yeah, you're so out of, out of shape. You man. are out of shape. I miss the daily. You're out of shape. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to be like this, okay? See you next week. And then you're always going to say next week, okay? Let's do it. See you next week. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> filming much these past days I've been feeling pretty lost first of all as the autopilot um, let's put it that way I've learned a lot from those past few days working on it I guess there's no no way back now so I just gonna try to power through and then um, hopefully get everything done in time and hopefully be able to leave uh, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria with them the next few days, so um, <sighs> fingers crossed. Es ist natürlich alles andere als günstig, auf einem Seegeburt zu leben oder ein Seegeburt irgendwie am Laufen zu halten. Und ähm, die Ausgaben sind doch viel, viel höher, als man sich das wahrscheinlich gut vorstellen kann, auch als ich mir das vorgestellt habe. I did do a massive blog post yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. I yeah. must say I was uh, too exhausted to read it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't posted yesterday again. Mm. So it's really falling behind right now. We have to get that back, yeah. back on track. I mean, that's why I just keep like a couple sunsets or sunrises and that, you know, just as yeah. drafts, just to post when you haven't got like two seconds. Exactly. Uh, Gosh, I, got, I better watch my back, you're catching up to me. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> right. Ja, ich habe in letzter Zeit irgendwie wie so einen Boat Blues irgendwie gehabt, aber gar nicht nur aufs Bootsleben und auf die Arbeiten am Boot bezogen, sondern definitiv auch auf alles, was im Social Media Bereich sich abspielt. Ja, es fehlt halt einfach wirklich der, der Dialog oder einfach auch ähm, diese Momente gemeinsam zu erleben. 
So, es, es bringt dann viel Freude, einen schönen Sonnenuntergang zu sehen, zu fotografieren, ins Internet zu stellen und 1000 Likes zu bekommen und 100 Kommentare, die sagen, wow, ist schön, ich wünschte, ich hätte dein Leben. Aber im Endeffekt saßst du halt alleine da. So uh, the whole the whole uh, hull needs to be reinforced. Uh, the whole structure has to be reinforced. Um, that you know, every boat needs work, and it's a constant work in progress. But you kind of expect your keel to be holding onto the boat. Um, you kind of you know. There's a few basics that you expect to be working and it's just when when even those start falling apart it's yeah I just sorry I'm out Meine Mutter macht sich wahnsinnig viele Sorgen dass ich eigentlich zu viel von mir fordere dass dieses, dieses Projekt zu groß ist. Und Matti, ach Jonna, gut, dass du mich gerade anrufst. Ich wollte das länger schon gesagt haben. Jetzt lass, den, jetzt lass den Schwachsinn doch einfach sein und komm nach Hause. Und das war natürlich in dem Moment, oh, oh Gott, ähm, in dem Moment das Letzte. Da hat es mir echt so den letzten Schlag gesetzt. Dann kam die große Nachricht, ähm, liebstes Schnüss, das bin ich. Dies hier ist leider ein ziemlich wahrer Satz von Amos Oz, dem israelischen Schriftsteller. Es gibt nur einen Weg, einen verheißungsvollen Traum in seiner Gänze zu bewahren. Man darf nicht versuchen, ihn zu verwirklichen. Ein verwirklichter Traum ist ein enttäuschender Traum. Diese Enttäuschung liegt im Wesen der Träume. Das war die Quote. Und ähm, dann schreibt sie noch, du musst deinen Traum nicht aufgeben, ihn nur nicht so gnadenlos verfolgen. Ein Stück vom Himmel reicht auch. Ja, das, das tut weh. Das tut wirklich weh. Well, nowadays my father doesn't talk to me because I do porn. So I understand why he doesn't understand it. But I also feel sad that he never gave me the opportunity to explain myself. He probably thinks that I'm like fucking three guys at the same time. Like he doesn't really know what I do. I never got to talk to him about it. And it was easier for him to just say, you're dead to me. And that's it. Many of my friends are like, hey, I would like to make some money, you know, throw a couple videos, not turn my face, whatever. And I'm like, it's not worth it, because if you're going to make one video, then you're never going to be able to take it out. It's going to be on the internet forever.
Can you believe he's the most efficient guy I've ever met? We all love Venice. I think it's honestly... Woo! Thank you! Hey, Andy! Andy! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, I missed you! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we are almost 10k of people. Really? Yeah. Hey, I didn't realize we were so many. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you already. Okay, guys, so see you again soon. Thank you very much for today. I loved it. Thank you, Andy, and thank you, Austin. You're the best as usual. And thank you, everyone, who enjoyed this show and this awesome Sunday with us. Thank you, thank guys. You. Mwah. See you around. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And we are offline! Ta -da. <laughs>
fi- like strong financial means. And we're not talking about $100 or, or $1,000 a month. I want it to be like a million dollars a month. I want it to be that scale. You know, I, I have social capital, but I need the financial capital to really become, to really feel like I have influence. Ah, these are cute pictures. Yes. Okay, look at me. Yeah, amazing. Oh, this is a nice show. Everyone's gonna have a different journey. I just experimented with different things and I ended up here. I took pictures of everything and now they're here on my wall. One last time, this was very nice. I don't even think about being 70 or 80 because you never know if you'll get there. I just think about now. So fun! This is fun! You're having fun! And you like to be on the camera so I think I'm coming to terms with the whole life cycle. I don't like it. Uh, it's annoying. It's partly why I don't want to have kids, probably. I have never had a maternal drive, so it seems unwise to have children and force a child to live with me that I may end up being uninterested in, you know? Having kids especially for women has so many, so many lovely things come with it, like hormone changes and a pregnancy and uh, pushing something out of your vagina and tearing it and uh, taking care of it. And even if you have like a very, you know, hardworking partner, almost always the brunt is gonna fall on the woman. Are we thinking about a family? Come join because they forgot to ask you. Uh, uh, yes, 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 definitely. Starting, starting up children is just like starting a company. Same thing. And that shows how little he knows about raising children. Okay? I think we will. Because uh, she said there's a 0.01% chance, which is the same chance of success with Nas Daily. So it's, it is possible. <laughs> <laughs> I just know when you're 60 in an empty house with no real friends that you like and no husband that you like, you're going to be like, man, I wish I had more people around. But a lot of kids, like, don't, they see their parents, like, once or twice a year at Christmas. Whatever, I get them for 20 years, then they're on their own. That's the whole idea. 20 years is all I need. Anyway, this is yours. No! Kasse ist mehr oder minder leer. Ich stehe vor dem Atlantik. Ohne Geld in der Karibik anzukommen, ist absoluter Schwachsinn. Ich sehe das jetzt noch nicht kurz vorm Untergang, aber es ist so, dass ich mir doch sehr viele Gedanken natürlich darüber mache, wo kommt jetzt dann in der Zukunft Geld her. Ich habe mich immer als Mutter von Kindern gesehen. Ich habe das immer für mich in der Zukunft gesehen. Aber ich denke, da liegt ein ganz großer Gap dazwischen von wo ich jetzt bin, zu, dass das eines Tages möglich sein könnte. Ich lebe so viel mehr von einem Traum, als ich viele Menschen je erfüllen würden. Und wenn das dann bedeutet, dass ich jetzt nicht Mutter werde oder vielleicht keine Familie habe und das dazugehört, dann sehe ich das gar nicht so sehr als Verzicht, sondern dann ist das vielleicht einfach der, der Weg, den das mit sich bringt. Aber who knows? I think what scares me is making the wrong choices in life in terms of, am I doing enough of this? Am I doing enough of that? Am I making the right decisions? Am I spending time with the right people? Life is so short. It's so insanely short. And we have such a, uh, a, an incredibly short amount of time for me, I think it's just fear of making the wrong decisions and eventually will I have regret. I've 
how peaceful the activity of searching for the stars is. <laughs> it's like so pointless and yet when you find it, it's so beautiful. You are so small, so nothing. It's awesome. You are no one. You're not really famous, it's your product that's famous. Because you're entertainment to them. These people will absolutely forget about me. We are completely isolated, but that's our choice. So that's part of the freedom. just molecules going around and forming different stuff. If I would die right now, it's like you just disappear. I don't know, it's okay. <laughs> it's not that I was so important anyways. <laughs> no one is actually, so we can all just disappear and it's okay. <laughs>